Hello, my name's Don Vance. I have a house for sale at 730 West, 350 South, Orem, Utah. This is the house uh, set beside a three-acre orchard here. I'm going to pan around and see the neighborhood a little bit here. Uh, a nice house here. Uh, as you go down the neighborhood, you can hopefully see, got a nice view of the mountains here. At the end of that street is the, you can walk right into the Orem Park, which has a recreation center, uh, tennis courts, three baseball diamonds, soccer field. It's a wonderful facility. Okay, I'm going to uh, quickly just walk you around the outside of the property. Uh, in the front yard here, you may have noticed there's three. There's a pear and two apple trees. There's seven peach trees on this property right along the edge of the other property that belong with this property. Uh, we have a kind of a, a, you could call it a mother-in-law apartment, a bedroom, or a office that has a back and a front door and a side door that goes into the main part of the house. Around the back here, uh, well, we've got a gate here. I'll open up quickly. We've got lighting set up so that when you come around, the lights turn on. Uh, window well covers a uh, light system set up here on the outside uh, here's the backyard it's fully fenced and we have a, a basement entrance here and then a, a, a back door for this mother-in-law slash office place uh, whatever you want to call it uh, I'll try to get a view here of the back of the home. We've got a, a double flue fireplace right there for the basement and the main floor. The house is almost all brick except for a little bit above the garage on that side and a little siding on this side. Other than that, it's all brick. It's a sturdy, well-built home. I'm going to pan around and give you a little view of the backyard here. It's .22 acre it's fully fenced we got a peach tr a pear tree on the end a peach tree on this end uh, grapes there an apple tree right here beautiful view of the mountains over here uh, so I'm gonna go to the front yard here for just a minute and we'll enter the front Okay, sorry about this walking around here. Uh, it's got a two and a half car garage right there. Here's the front of the house. We'll go in, open the door here. Here's the entryway. This is a historic piece from the Nauvoo era. In the front of the house, you may have noticed, looks like what some people call a Nauvoo house, Nauvoo, Illinois. Uh, this is the front room, brand new carpet, that's light on the floor, not a stain. Uh, a nice molding up here, uh, we'll pan around, I'll, I'll come in and walk around, I'm not a professional photographer here by any means. Uh, okay, so we'll come back out into the entryway, walk in here. There's a sliding door at this point, so if you wanted to shut that, you could. Uh, if you turn this way, down that way is the garage. I'll walk down there in a second, but you got a stairway going upstairs. This is the dining area right here. And we have the kitchen area right here. there a little desk okay we'll get you oriented here we'll go back into the this is a family room we'll, it's got a, a fireplace and the wood stove I'm excluding that wood stove just for sentimental purposes um, okay so I'm going to come in this room some nice stairs or nice uh, uh, 
bookshelves. I'm going to pan around so you can see the room a little differently here. Okay, so it's kind of hard to give you a good complete picture, but I'll try. Okay, so you go through this door here, uh, and this is what I used as an office, or it could be a large bedroom or a daycare, whatever you want to use it for. It has a, has a bathroom and a closet right there. I'm going to pan up so you can see it has vaulted ceilings, very nice. Um, windows there and it has the a brick from the outside of the home. The home was built in 1986. The addition was added the year after and so you've got brick on this side of the house inside this room. Uh, so and you've got an entrance here. Go around here and you've got you, know, you can go out the back door right there and you've got a bathroom here. So here's the bathroom. I should probably okay and you still have the vaulted ceilings here and we got the high-speed internet. There's a shower right there, toilet and kind of a little bit of a mess there when they put in the high-speed internet if you're in Utopia. Okay so I'm gonna Open this, let you see that, and I'm going to turn this around and open the back door of this particular room. So we'll turn around here. Okay, so here's the back door. Got a, a window here, goes out, and you've got a steps going down this way. And then we came in, we showed you the backyard and steps going down to the basement. Right over here, we have both of my neighbors border on the Orem City Park. We're about 60, 70 feet off of the park, so we have the benefits of being close to the park, but the noise is not a problem. The loss, there's no loss of privacy here, so it's kind of the best of both worlds with having the park close by. So we're going to back, go back into the main part of the home. Okay, this is the family room. Okay, so we already showed you the kitchen, so we'll come back and we'll show you this part. There's a door right at this point, so you can shut it if you want to hide your laundry, if it's not done, when your friends come over. Okay, so here's uh, another bathroom uh, with a toilet and lights there half bath okay here's the i've taken the door off because you have to have the door off to get your washing machine dryer in and out so uh, right there's the <coughs> there's a place that kind of basin that holds your water if there's a spill a little extra feature there's a nice closet and by the way <coughs> let's see and this is the garage here. It's a, like a two and a half car garage, a little extra space on either side. Uh, but it's, it's got a few of my supplies in it here. But that's the, the garage. And you got outside right there. I'll come back in the house here. And we'll take you upstairs. So this is the stairway going up. Get you a little view here. So there's the master bedroom directly in front of us. Before we go in there, we'll pan down the hallway here. There's a bedroom on the left, the bedroom on the right. And there's a just a bathroom here with a tub on this side. Uh, I refinished all the all the cabinets in the house three years ago. Okay, now we're going to take you back into the master bedroom as we came up to the top of the stairs. Okay, so it's a good-sized bedroom. 
there's a there's a door that you can shut and lock that goes between the two bedrooms. Nice little feature here. Here's a walk-in closet. Has some shelves behind the door. Let me turn the light on. It's kind of hard to see here, close range, but okay. There's the attic. All right, so. I'm going to get at the end of the master bedroom here so you can kind of see it. You got windows on this side, closet here, and all the houses, the first two floors I've basically repainted pretty much. Uh, and there's a sink and lights. Uh, and we got another closet here. You can see a place to hang your clothes up and uh, below and up and then shelving right there a door here on the on the master bath there's a door that slides shut right there if you want to have a shower and privacy and still use the sinks so there's a shower it's in good shape oops I should turn the light on in here so there's a shower in here. And we got the toilet. And there's the light. Little hanging wall things here. So okay, so I'm not not such a good photographer here, but better than nothing, I guess. I gotta turn off some lights while I'm heading out. Okay. So, okay, back to the hallway here. Uh, I don't remember if I showed this room or not. I think I did, but I'll show it again. There's a bathroom. It's got an outside door and then an inner door. Toilet. And a tub. Shower. Shower and a tub. Okay. And let's see. Let's look out the window. You can see the outside. And there's the neighbor's home, the mountains, etc. So that's a nice, nice home right there. Okay. All right, as you go down the hallway, there's a little linen closet right here. I'll make that quick. Okay, to the right, there's this yellow room. Um, try and get you pan around here so you can see it brand new carpet brand new paint uh, closet here it's a good size closet goes back in and both the closets in this room and the next room they go clear over to the wall inside of that wall Whoa. okay so let me get you oriented here so you can see it Okay, so I'm just going to pan around and we're going to go back into I'm gonna go back into the east bedroom here. So here's the doorway. Um, this room okay, it kind of juts out like that. Okay, over here, these, this room has a nice view of the Wasatch Mountains on this side. Right here, wonderful. And then as you pan over, this other room, room has a nice view of Timpanogos. And one of the things you'll notice right there is the Orem Park is right there. They've got a pavilion there. At least uh, three baseball diamonds. Uh, playgrounds, tennis courts, soccer field, and then the recreation center. The Orem High School is just next adjacent to that. And over here, um, on the bordering the park on the other side, or there's there's a couple diamonds. One of the three I mentioned, and there's an elementary school right over there. So those are the features that we love the most about the home. Other than the home itself was being so close to the park and especially to the recreation center where you could go in and swim during the 
winter. There's a track you can go on, a, a swimming area for children. They got all the exercise equipment, basketball courts. It's an awesome facility. And this place is, oh, probably three quarters of a mile from the freeway. So it's has good access to the freeway. And I'm just going to turn off a couple lights here. Well, add it. Oh, one other feature here. This is the back door or the front door of the the master bedroom. We can open this. It's a there's a veranda out here, so you can step out on this veranda, and you can holler down the street at the kids or look down, see what they're doing, or see the mountain. It's just a nice little feature that looks over the home. You can see over the orchard here, and in the distance you can see a little bit of Utah Lake right there. And this is a three-acre orchard, so front of the home, veranda right off the master bedroom. Wonderful little feature. Now we're going to head down to the basement. And I'm going to check. I've got lights turned off. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're heading down the stairs. We're going to go take a look at the basement. And we'll make the turn here and head down the steps right there. Okay, so landing and then down the stairs here. Open that door. So here's the bottom of the steps. Okay, as you get to the bottom of the steps, off to one side is a bedroom. Uh, that particular little hole there is the water that comes in from the city street, so you can cover it with a picture or whatever, but that's needed. <laughs> uh, so you got a bedroom here. There's the lighting, there's a good sized closet. Uh, right within this bedroom, there's a door that goes into a room. It's the furnace room here. I'll turn the light on. You can see it a little better. So there's a there's a water heater. It's it's a pretty good size room here. Cable hookups. Uh, so heat furnace and water heater. Uh, the, the electrical breaker boxes and a sprinkler outdoor sprinkler hookup if I can get it in there yeah right there so okay so we're still kind of at the bottom of the steps right here at the bottom of the steps side beside the stairs there's some storage right here that goes under the steps and then it goes back and around and then there's a separate room here without carpet, without windows. It's a storage room. And it uh, has storage shelves that have been built in. It's a good sized room. So a nice cool room. So, anyhow, so that's the storage room. And it, Kind of, there's no sheetrock here between the storage room and the spare some of the steps, so kind of open there. All right, so this is the bottom of the steps going into the rest of the house. I've put a door here. If you wanted to see, if you wanted to have the rest of this house be an apartment, so you know it works fine either way. So you come in here, there's a bathroom right here, uh, some shelves here, and a toilet, shower. I'm going to step in here and there's the lights. And I've hooked up a wa washing machine hookup here on the inside of the bathroom. So that's another good feature. Okay, so proceeding into the rest of this 
house here down the hallway. There's a large family room right here. It's very good size. It's big. And I'm just trying to give you a little orientation of what it looks like here. There's some shelves. The carpet's not new down here in the basement, but is new on the two top floors. Okay, so there's a window. Good, good lighting down here, fluorescent lights. Come around the corner here. This is where we just came from right there's the bathroom. And I had this kitchen a couple years ago. Um, so you got a kitchen. I'm excluding the refrigerator. And then and then here's some counters. These counters have been made so they're movable so you can move them over to the side wherever you want them. And you could put a dining table here if you wanted to. Uh, one of the things that I've added here a couple of years ago is I put in an electrical outlet here for a dryer. And then I've set this up so you can just open this window right here and you can hook up the dryer. There's plexiglass on the back here so that it's there's no air, cold air that comes in. So okay, so we're we're in the kitchen here. Let's get oriented and I'll turn around. Um, there's just a shelf for shelving if it can stay. Uh, here's the outside entrance that goes to the stairwell. Um, here's I was gonna put a bedroom in here but decided not to. I didn't want to disrupt the Pretty good lighting for a basement that comes in right there. Or it could be a dining area. Um, so there's a, a bedroom down here on this side of the basement. And nice lighting there. There's a closet right here. I'll kind of come in here so you can see the closet. So there's a closet, place to hang clothes. We'll Pan around, pan down so you can see the floor. And there's a there's another furnace in here. There's two furnaces in the house. This furnace uh, lights, or not lights, but heats uh, this side of the house, both up and down. It could be separated. This is not a quote legal apartment because it hasn't got the furnaces separated and it doesn't have the same electricity separated, but that could be done. Um, so, okay, so we're back in the kitchen area and we just came out of that bedroom back in there. And just uh, an FYI, I put, I dropped the ceiling right here and put in hat channel and soundboard and then sheetrock to the end just for noise control because of the tile floor above that. Um, and to be illegal you'd have to do the same for the ceiling in the family room, ceiling here in the dining area in this bedroom. Um, so I haven't done all that yet. But Okay that's pretty much the kind of the tour of the house. Um, so it's a wonderful, wonderful family home. Has uh, a lot of wonderful features. One other thing I wanted to point out is I said there was two fireplaces, and this is this is the wall here in this large family room. You can't see it, but if you looked really closely, if you were in here, you might be able to see where it's been sheetrocked over. So you could have a wood stove right there. There's a flue that goes upstairs so that's a cost you a lot of money to put that in if that wasn't there and it's nice to know that it's there if you ever wanted to use it okay so this is looking back the hallway the storage room at the end and with that you've seen all the house uh, my number is 801-358-3864 I've priced it at a very reasonable price at least I think I have if I haven't, let me know otherwise, but for square footies, this is an excellent price. Uh, thank you, and I'll sign off.